Hello and welcome to the Pastor's Corner. In my devotionals, we've been looking at Ephesians, and for the next few devotionals, we will be examining a wonderful prayer in verses 14 to 21 that Paul prayed for the Ephesian believers. And since this is such a great prayer for believers to hear, I will be praying this prayer for you at the end of each devotional while we are studying this prayer. Today, we will look at verses 16 to 18 from the Christian Standard Bible. I pray that he may grant you, according to the riches of his grace, to be strengthened with power in your inner being through his spirit, and that Christ may dwell in your hearts through faith. I pray that you, being rooted and firmly established in love, may be able to comprehend with all the saints what is the length and width, height and depth of God's love. In my last devotional, we looked at Paul's first petition to God for his readers, that God would strengthen them through his divine power in their inner being through his spirit. And we mentioned that our outer person is wasting away or being destroyed, but our inner person is being renewed. Strengthen this inner person through the power of the Holy Spirit working in you should be your number one priority. And then in verse 17, Paul prays that Christ may dwell in his readers' hearts through faith. As I mentioned in my last devotional, when you believed in Christ, you were united with Christ in his death and resurrection. And since you have been united with Christ, he wants you to, to be, he wants to be with you permanently, and he wants his life to be manifested in your life. And this happens as you trust in him each and every day. Following Christ is not a once-and-done deal. Instead, it's a daily walk with him. As you trust him at every situation you encounter, in the good times and the difficult times, and thus your inner person is being renewed and strengthened through the power of God working in your lives, through his Holy Spirit, and through your inner person being renewed, you walk with Jesus and trust him to help you in all that you do. And then Paul prays that his readers will be rooted and established in love. And this love is from God. Everything you do and all that you are is because of God's love for you. You are his child because of his love for you. And you are being transformed into the image of Jesus Christ because of his love for you. And because of this, you need to be firmly established and rooted in this love. This reminds me of Jeremiah 17, the person who trusts in the Lord, whose confidence indeed is the, in the Lord is blessed. He will be like a tree planted by water. It sends its roots out toward a stream. It doesn't fear when heat comes and its foliage remains green. It will not worry in a year of drought or cease producing fruit. This love should be the basis of everything you do. Just as a child feels confident to experience new things and obey what his father says because he knows and has experienced his father's love, so you all should should be confident to go where God calls you to go and do what God has told you to do because you know and have experienced God's love in your life. You should not fear and you should not worry when there are problems and difficulties in your life because your spiritual roots are deep in your Father's love for you. And my prayer is that you will know this love more and more and that you may know the full extent of his love for you. This might be difficult for you to imagine right now, but as you grow, go deeper and deeper in becoming more like Christ, God will reveal his love to you in a longer, wider, higher, and deeper way. Let us pray. I kneel before the Father, from whom every family in heaven and on earth is named. And I pray pray that he may grant you, those who are watching this devotional, according to the riches of his glory, to be strengthened with power in your inner being through his spirit, and that Christ may dwell in your hearts through faith. I pray that you, being rooted and firmly established in love, may be able to comprehend with all the believers in Christ what is the length and width and height and depth of 
God's love. So that when you are going through difficult times and struggles, you will know that Christ is right beside you, encouraging you and strengthening you. And that you may know Christ's love that surpasses knowledge. So that you may be filled with all the fullness of God. Now to him who is able to do above and beyond all that we ask or think according to the power that works in us. To him be glory in the church and in Christ Jesus to all generations forever and ever. Amen.